Hey there, friend. Thanks for checking in. Going to do a debate today with Jarhead6, and this one's going to be a little bit different. We are both going to answer the exact same question, and that is, why do we need to eliminate gun-free zones? What we're going to ask the viewers to do is decide who made the best argument. If you had a friend or a family member who were anti-gun and you could choose to present one of our arguments to them, who would it be, either myself or Jarhead6? Jarhead, you're up first, so let's go. It's Jarhead 6 and thanks for watching. So here's my top three reasons why we need to eliminate gun-free sons. The first one, it violates your right to protect yourself. You have the right to protect yourself and protect your family. And that right it is yours. It's not given to you by this government. That is your right. You may find yourself on some type of gun-free son, like picking up your kids from school, and you may get assaulted. You could possibly be killed. And the whole reason why you weren't able to defend yourself is because your right of self-protection was violated by this administration. All right, guys, so my second reason is something that a lot of people know to include this administration, and that is that gun-free sons kills people and I gotta tell you every time we see something like a mass killing at a school at a mall at places like that we always say we need more cops well in reality what we need is more guys holding guns because we know that when the active shooter happens we know when the firefight start, uh, start it's gonna take them minutes you know five to ten minutes even more to respond so by that time a criminal was able to come you know was able to kill a lot of people so the answer here guys is not like we need more cops we we need more policy. We need more control. That is not going to work. We see the Washington Navy shooting. That was a military base with, with many different levels of security, with many, much resources, personnel. I mean, Department of Defense training, and they were not able to stop that guy that killed 12 people. So definitely more policies and all that is not going to work. If we want to stop gun-free sons, we need to stop having gun-free sons, and we need to encourage good law-abiding citizen to carry a gun. All right, guys, finally, my last reason why we need to eliminate gun-free sons is because it's stopping good law-abiding citizens that carry a gun on an everyday, like yourself, like me, like Dan, from stopping a bad guy with a gun that is about to commit a crime. Gun-free zones need to be eliminated for the betterment of society. To create a more safer environment, we need to eliminate gun-free zones. You're never gonna see a criminal say, I'm entering a school area, therefore I need to disarm to stay legal. That's why they're criminals to begin with. If you think about the mindset of a criminal, we have learned throughout the years that mass shooters and, and people who are just killers, by and large, are cowards. They always want to enter the path of least resistance. And they can do that with a gun-free zone because the legal people are going to abide by the law. The illegal people, the criminals, the thugs, they are not going to, and they will never abide by a gun-free zone anyways. If you think about it like this, in America, a gun is seven times more likely to prevent a crime than to commit one. So here we have gun-free zones that are supposed to be safer, which is what the media and the government is telling us is actually more dangerous. Seven times more likely to prevent a crime is when a gun is presented from a good guy. Seven times. So why would we take that part out of an area and call it a gun-free zone? We are basically handicapping the legal people. There have been surveys of hardened criminals who have been in prison, many of which are in there for life. The one thing that they fear more than anything else is an armed citizen. Do you know why that is? Because the law enforcement, they have to present a certain type of protocol. They have to uh, present who they are. They have to be careful where they shoot. Uh, armed citizen says, you know what, I'm scared, bang. It's over. And they know that. And they, they've said an armed citizen scares them more than anything. An armed citizen is what will make them turn their path away. An armed citizen is what they do not want to encounter when committing a crime. If we look at some of the mass shootings that have already taken places like in Aurora, Colorado or Fort Hood, Texas or the D.C. Naval Shipyard, they have all taken place in gun-free zones. Had there been an armed citizen there, many lives could have been saved. We look at in Oregon where a killer was walking through a shopping mall shooting people. The minute that he saw 
an armed resistance coming toward him. He took one last shot, and that was toward himself. It goes to show you how cowardly these people are. So we need to eliminate gun-free zones for the betterment of society, of a safer society, because the only way to stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun.